everyone wants to live in Los Angeles. 4 million people in Los Angeles and 18.8 .8 million people in Greater Los Angeles. Some people love it, some people hate it. I moved here 20 years ago to be an actor and not only did I make it, they built a platform for me called YouTube that I can talk to you guys anytime I want. I've lived in Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, and Los Angeles. And by far, Los Angeles has been one of the toughest places that I've ever lived in. Mm. Just getting by day to day can be a challenge, especially if you don't have a lot of money. Today, I'm gonna go over the top five reasons why you should not move to Los Angeles. Number one, traffic. California has the fifth largest economy in the world and is ranked number one in the nation's worst traffic. If you need to do something by three o'clock and you haven't done it and it's more than three miles away, forget it. You might as well plan on doing it tomorrow. There's several cities that I've personally lived in myself from the Valley, Silver Lake, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, and the West Side. And out of all those cities, I prefer the West Side every time. It's close to the beach. It's right next to the 405, which I can jump on to go anywhere I want. My kids go to a good school. Where I'm at, it's a good central location to get anywhere I want to go in Los Angeles. For example, if you need to go to Pasadena, which is complete diagonal to where I am, there's no freeway that directly goes there. Now, what you would do in this case, there's a window of opportunity between the hours of 10 and 12 to get in your car and drive there which a lot of the people in Los Angeles live on the outskirts of Los Angeles. So during that time, they've usually arrived by work between nine and 10 and they're working. You are gonna be going the opposite direction, which is going to ensure that you're gonna be able to get there a little bit smoother than you would at any other time. In my experience, I find that Sunday mornings are the best time to drive around if you wanna go somewhere further out in Los Angeles. A lot of people go out Saturday night and sleep in Sunday morning and they always go to some kind of a diner and have breakfast and that's your window of opportunity. If you need to go out, you jump in your car during that time and you drive further out. Sure, there are a lot of cool things to do in Los Angeles, but what you're gonna find out, there is no jump in your car, run there and I'll be right back. There's a stoplight on every block and you're gonna be spending a lot of your time in your car just to run to the store. Oh, and let's not forget the amount of people riding bikes or crossing the roads. If you're not from here, it's really gonna take you just a little bit of time to adjust to people crossing the roads. Because if you're not careful, you definitely do not wanna hit someone. Overall, what I recommend is exploring all these different cities, figuring out which one you like the best, and choosing that city to live in because you're gonna be spending the majority of your time within that city. Oh, and one other thing, and if you find a love interest, you wanna make sure that they live close to you. Because if not... I have a great life. <laughs> have fun with everything you're gonna do. You all know, right, all right. Work hard. school and all that. You're gonna find yourself involved in a long distance relationship. And that's probably not what you want. Say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Or maybe you do. Number two, cost of living. The medium cost of home in Los Angeles is $850,000. They must be casting a really large net for that because when I go out and look around, you probably need about a million dollars just to start with. And a million dollar home on the west side is definitely gonna be a fixer upper. On this side of town, if you're looking for a condo, for example, you can probably find one about $600,000, $650,000. That depends. You may or may not have air conditioning, but that'll at least get you into a place where you're growing some equity and not just throwing money at rent. For this place right here, which is 850 square feet, I pay $1,700 a month. I've been in here for the last eight years and it has rent control. So the price that I have on this place is a really good price compared to this area. Let me show you around. So this right here is my living room. I am moving to a different place and I purchased also another place in Arizona at the same time. So this place right here, a lot of stuff has been moved out and it's all in disarray. But it will give you a good idea of what $1,700 to $1,800 will get you in LA. As you can see here, I basically have the Norman Bates of kitchens. This is an O'Keefe and Mary Itty appliances. How much would this be valued at? Beautiful. There's currently no air conditioning, but I have installed these custom window appliances that will allow air to flow in. So what I have over here is my beautiful coat closet, which I have converted into my computer desk work area, which is also sized with these stairs. So also while I'm working, I get the beautiful distraction of listening to people go up and down the stairs along with their dogs and their cats. It's wonderful, let me tell you. So right here, this is my beautiful restroom that I have, fully equipped with a shower head, 
One thing you will notice in my Los Angeles apartment that it does not have pink tiles because you will find them all throughout Los Angeles. And in here in the west wing, we have the grandiose master bedroom in case you want that certain little special someone to stay the night. Also, let me show you my spacious balcony. So many good times have been spent out there grilling and having a good time. I hope you enjoyed my tour of the apartment. I pay $1,700 a month. Feel free to stop by anytime just as soon as I move out. While we're on the topic of cost of living, let's talk about gas prices. Gas prices in Los Angeles are some of the highest in the nation. We even have an extra tax on our gas. The current gas prices are around $6 and approaching $7 a gallon. So in Los Angeles, what I find on top of the high price of living is that they, number three, nickel and dime you to death for everything that you will do. So what that means is even when you go to the grocery store and you ask for a bag, they're gonna charge you 10 cents per bag. Every plastic item that you have, they're gonna charge you a nickel for each one of those. So if I go to the movies or I go to the park, I go to the beach, pretty much everywhere you're gonna go, you're going to be paying to park. So you're gonna have three options. You can keep driving around until you can try to find something that's free, but then you're gonna have to read the signs and see if you can park there for the amount of time that you wanna be there. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I decided not to park here. Well, I'm sorry, sir. We still got to charge you the four dollars. You can go to valet and pay a high fee for them to valet your car, or you can take a ticket and get it validated and you will pay a price for the amount of time that you spend in that establishment. And let's not forget the meters here in Los Angeles. They are everywhere, including also with street cleanings. You have to become an expert on reading signs here in Los Angeles. Also, if your parking meter expires, it will then send a notification to the parking meter attendant who will quickly give you a ticket if you do not run out there and add money to your parking meter. Another thing not to forget here is the street cleaning. Usually there's one side for one day and the other street for the next day, and you will have to make sure that you move your car on the appropriate day. Say you went to a friend's house and you're not familiar with this street and you just just parked your car and did not pay attention that no one else is parked on the street and you will come out two hours later and realize you've got a ticket. Number four, it's no longer safe in Los Angeles. The homeless population keeps increasing along with crime. Yes, it's true. Over the last two years, things have exploded. They were there before, but now they are out of control. Just last week, I had someone at the end of my block walking around with a samurai sword hitting parked cars. They had to call out a whole fleet of police cars to block the street and I had a helicopter flying around. This was just yesterday. A common sight you'll see in Los Angeles is homeless population camping out and sleeping on the streets right next to multi-million dollar homes. The city is just dirty now. You have trash on every corner, people sleeping on the sidewalks, people throwing out their furniture as well. There's trash everywhere. Number five, people here are not as friendly as in other places. Let's face it, people in Los Angeles are notoriously for being fakey, self-absorbed, narcissistic, all about clothing, all about their cars. Although when you come out here, you'll see a lot of people who drive BMW, Porsches, and they'll live in an apartment complex. Where I'm from, people have time to talk to each other and just love to chit chat. It took me a while when I moved here to understand, even when I was asking for some ketchup, I would say, please, but do you have any ketchup? Or can I have a few packs of ketchup? And I found out that was way too much. Just say ketchup please, or even just ketchup. I find if you say too many words, it will confuse the person and they will not know what you're saying. What? I don't know if it's because too many people are here or what, but a lot of times people don't say anything to you, even if you say hi or wave. Sometimes they will. If you really get their attention, they will say hi. I find the majority of the time people don't and they just keep walking. Either they might have headphones in, they don't hear me, but they're in their own world. I think it's something to do with there's so many people, they're so bombarded. It's a challenge to get around to do anything. You just don't have time to say anything to people, but it's something that I just don't personally like. I like spending time with people and saying hi. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Another thing I find if you're at the supermarket or at the store and someone has a basket and they wanna get by you and say you're looking at an item, they don't say anything. They just slowly inch their basket towards you until you realize they're there and then you move out of the way. But the whole time, they don't say anything. And where I'm from, people say, excuse me, can I get by something to get your attention? I'm not trying to stand in your way. I really wanna move, but I just wasn't aware that I was in your way. Now, I'm not saying everyone is like that in this town, but I'm saying there are a lot of people in here that you'll find just don't talk to you. So with that, I don't want you to think I completely hate LA. I've been here for 20 years. I've had a lot of unique experiences that I would not have been able to get anywhere else. But in the last 10 years of that, I've been ready to leave. And especially in the last two to three, there's been a lot of changes in Los Angeles. 
and I'm ready to go. If you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, please comment down below, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.